All right, guys, this is the last day to take advantage of this opportunity in QOP. If you believe in QOP, maybe you don't, that's fine. But QOP has given me, the FUD Farm, an exclusive opportunity to take advantage of their new program where they're doing crypto bot trading. I don't have any details as to what that means, what it looks like. They just said, for you, Jonathan, based on how well you have done with your referrals, you will be able to give your community, anyone that uses your referral link and makes a $1,000 or greater deposit, not only will you get commission of 7%, so $70, they will be in QOP and get first dibs on their trading, their trading bots, their trading bots as it pertains to crypto. Now, what this doesn't mean is I'm endorsing QOP and saying it's going to last forever. What this doesn't mean is that I have knowledge of what their next project is. What this doesn't mean is that Jonathan is going to ensure that your investment and gamble play is safe and secure. None of that is true. This is still DeFi. If you're new to this channel, go watch every one of my videos. All I do is give warnings after warning after warning. I'm documenting what I'm doing. I'm not trying to get you to do what I do, okay? Our risk capital might be different. So this is QOP. I've been in it since April. This thing's been going since January. It's my best project to date, okay? This is why I'm talking about it. It's better to talk about the ones working than the ones that aren't. This is QOP. You can see right here, this is my payout. I'm going to show you a live deposit or a live withdraw and how it works. So this is my MetaMask wallet here. I've got 88.5. So if I click withdraw funds, now this is the only default or DeFi project that has immediate withdrawals like this. So I come here, I click 1.79, 1.749. You know, you can type as many numbers as you want. This is the wallet it's gonna go to. And then you can see how fast the withdrawals will be once it's processed. Okay, it says completed. Now I go here, 88.5, it already went up. Do you guys not see how freaking crazy that is? That means the developer doesn't have this like trigger where he's approving some and not approving others like we've seen in the past. Uh-uh. At least that's my assumption of what these devs sometimes do. This is just hardwired in that anytime you click withdraw, it withdraws. You say, well, what about your principal? Well, this is my two big stakes here, 25,000 and then a 3,000. You can see I'm on day 24. I've got six days left on this one. So um, what I want to say is, because people will be like, well, maybe you won't be able to withdraw your initial. No, guys, I've done it multiple times. I've had multiple stakes in this sucker and I've been able to withdraw huge lump sums of money. Uh, these are just the two current stakes I have right now in this account. Okay. So I just showed you withdrawals are still working. Um, and, uh, so what is the opportunity? Well, again, you can use my referral link and as long as you go into this, um, I haven't heard back from the team. I think it's by at the end of this weekend. Uh, so let's just say Sunday, midnight Eastern time. Uh, I don't think they're going to be anal about it. Um, but they keep track of anyone that went under FUD Farms referrals. And that's how they'll have all your wallets and you'll get first dibs. That's what they told me. So again, I'm not working with them. I don't know the devs. Um, this is just an agreement they gave me based on I've done consulting for them and I've done well bringing uh, attention to their pro project, which has resulted in a ton of referral uh, people. And, and so this is why... Uh, they're giving me an opportunity in my community to have first dibs at this. So congrats on those that have been in QOP because chances are you've already doubled or tripled your money. So you're really just playing with house money. That's what a lot of you have said is said, Jonathan, you know, this is all house money. So even if it does go down, I'm not blaming you, I'm not blaming anybody. I'm a big boy. You never push the mouse button on my computer. I did. I take responsibility. And I love that. Those are the people we want here um, at watching this channel. So you guys are the ones that have joined the FUD Farm community. The rest of you, you're not invited to the FUD Farm community. You just want to whine and complain and blame somebody. But all of us understand this is DeFi. Sometimes you'll take opportunity. I just did a uh, opportunity on bot trades. I showed you that I had my $10,000 account uh, come due and I made all the profit. Okay. I went in again. I'm going in all these places. Then you see things like BitSport where they have a cyber attack. These things can happen. Is it real? Who knows? I'm going to wait to put, cast my judgment on that one. Um, but 
it wouldn't shock me, man. A lot of these plays, they they uh they'll claim an exploit or oh we got hacked and it's like heard this story before, guys. So do not go in heavy in any of these. But that opportunity expires. If you want to take advantage, you've got to make a thousand dollar deposit. I'll put my referral link in, and yes, they know whether you're using my referral link, so you can create another wallet and then create another account um, to get in. Um, there, I don't think there's any. Uh, I don't think they're not allowing that. Um, you know, if they are, let me know. I, again, I, how how would they know? I mean, there's no KYC, so you use the name. Bob the plumber, like there's just no way of knowing guys. Again, this is why it's DeFi. If they were like KYCing and all that, I'd be like, okay, this is more legit, more established, but I'm still playing this as a DeFi gamble play. That's all it is. It just happens to be the one that's been going since January, literally January of 2023. So 10 months, almost 11 months. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoy this uh, cool, cool promo, if you want to call it that, but who knows, maybe by the time, um, the promo happens, there won't be a QOP. You have to think about that. You're like, oh, you're so negative. It's like, no, I have to say this or else the haters are going to like say, Jonathan was promoting. Jonathan was luring people into getting into these. No, I'm not. I'm really not. This is my journey. This is what I'm doing. <laughs> and I made a lot of money with QOP because I took action and I didn't make videos complaining about YouTubers in the DeFi space. And there's a difference. Some of us make money. Some of us cry about others making money. Which one are you? I don't care. You're on your own journey. I also bought $105,000 worth of Tesla on Friday. Okay. I buy the dips. Uh, and then, you know, and by the time I was done buying, I could have sold it and made a quick 2000 bucks, thrown that in a DeFi play. So I play a different game than a lot of you. I've learned that crying about other people and how they live their life accomplishes nothing for you and your happiness. It accomplishes nothing for you and your goals. This is a dog eat dog world. It's crazy. I could cry about Palestine and Israel on the internet. And all. That's not going to do anything. Changing people's minds by tweeting, not going to do anything. It's time to be wise. Time to learn how the real world works and adapt. Okay. As far as I know, I'm still allowed by YouTube to create content like this. And I'm, a, I'm allowed by the US government to play in DeFi. Now, one day they'll probably close it up. Um, but this is still that weird gray area. And the government has uh, not made decisions. Now, Senator Warren, uh, a lot of people are trying to cut down on crypto and claiming it's used for money laundering and all that. And it probably is. So uh, regulations are going to continue to happen. But until till not, like this is why DeFi attracts so many scammers, by the way. So that's one side of the coin. One side of the coin. There's opportunity, but there's also massive uh, risk. So it's on you. Uh, just you know, I I can take a, like a ten year old complaining to her mom and dad about Sally um, told me to hit Bobby, and then I got in trouble. And but like, I've gotten a speeding ticket before, and my friend told me, Jonathan, go faster, go faster. When the police when the police officer pulled me over, the last thing I would have said was, Well, my friend told me to speed. It doesn't matter. Take responsibility for your own actions. <sighs> By the way, every person that's played QOP is nothing but happy. Every person, nothing but successful withdrawals. No drama. Will Do I believe QOP will last forever? I don't. Yeah, but uh, Jonathan, I thought that I just... I'm skeptical. And, and, and it's not because I think they're, they're going to necessarily rug. It's because it's trading. And anytime there's trading involved, you could lose a bunch of money in trading. A lot of things could happen. So I'm playing with house money at this point. You might not be. So don't go in a thousand dollars like with this promotion. If that's a lot of money for you, if you can't pay your mortgage or like, don't be stupid. Do not be stupid. Don't be greedy. Uh, that's all I want to say. All right. So, so far, so good. I have no new information except for just bullishness. I haven't talked with the team any. Uh, this is just me giving as much warning as I can so that no one can be like, Jonathan just promotes and scams people. That really bothers me. That goes against everything in my character. I don't need your money. I don't need your referral money. I'm not living off that. This is just a fun thing that I get to do is share my journey on what I do in DeFi plays. That's it. All right, guys, with that said, you do support the channel and it means the world when you use my link. Only go in with that $1,000 fresh new stake by the end of Sunday night. Um, 
if you want to take advantage of the whitelist opportunity. With that said, I'll put the link in the description. Like and subscribe to this video if you appreciate guys like me who are trying to not promote with all positive stuff, but spends most of his videos fudding the projects he's in. If you can see that I'm doing that and you see there's a sense of sincerity and honesty, then subscribe to the effing channel because you got to let people know this is the type of people in DeFi you want to see. Thanks, guys.